today I'm going to show you the exact ClickUp system that I've used to build three million dollar businesses all using ClickUp. Most people look at ClickUp as just a fancy to-do list and they don't think of it as really a business operating system. So I'm going to show you today exactly how you can build this out no matter if you are a team of one or you're a team of 50. We're going to set this up so that way it can grow and scale with you. The problem that most people have when they look at ClickUp is when they first set it up, they set it up to work for three to maybe five people using ClickUp. When you start adding more and more people into it, you start realizing that the way that you have it set up just doesn't quite work and things start to break. This is because they set it up as just a task management system and not a real business operations system. I don't just build ClickUp workspaces, I build business command centers. And it all is inside ClickUp. All the million dollar businesses that I have helped build and maintain are using some variation of this process that I'm gonna walk you through. The first problem that I see people make when they're setting up their ClickUp is they are setting it up by department. And you may think that this is the right way to do it. It makes sense. You have your different departments in your business and so you're going to make your ClickUp match. But the problem with that is sometimes when you have a project, it doesn't just fit inside your marketing department. Sales also touches it. Once it goes from marketing to sales, then there's usually some customer experience or client success that needs to also touch it. So really there isn't a lot of different projects or systems that is built that's just for one department and one department only. What this does inside a business, especially as you start to scale, is you start to create these silos. So you have your marketing silo, you have your sales silo, you have your customer experience silo, and none of them are talking to each other. This creates a large problem, especially because if you think about your client, your client is interacting with every single piece of those departments. So they are having a cohesive experience, but internally you do not have a cohesive experience. And that is the biggest thing that when you're setting up your ClickUp, you don't want to set it up by department. You want to instead think about the functionality. Think about what's the purpose of each one of these things. So let's dive into ClickUp and I'm going to walk you through how I use five spaces inside ClickUp to create this business function versus putting together just by departments in the spaces. Here inside ClickUp, you can see we have five spaces. The reason that I have five spaces is because one, that really covers all the different functions and the purpose that we have inside ClickUp, but it also works on a free account. Everything that I'm going to be showing you, I want to show you how you can set this up on a free account. And then as you scale and you start needing to have more of those paid options, you can scale and it's not gonna break. You're gonna have the foundation set up on the free version. So if you are just getting started and you want to be able to grow to have a million dollar business, you're going to have the right foundation. So through this, so let's look at our very first one. We have our business helm. So keeping with a nautical theme, we have our helm, which is really where everything that we need is all in one place. In the business helm, this is where I keep track of any sort of hiring, job descriptions, job scorecards. I put in my SOPs, I keep track of my software, anything that has to do with really the operations or the brain of a business. If you are putting in any wikis about your business and you want to start building this knowledge base about your business, this is where it would go. It would go in your business helm. The next we have is content creation. So you can see content creation, that's gonna be lots of different things all across social media. This is where we plan out our YouTube videos, our podcasts, anything when it comes to content creation goes here. Then anyone that has access or is needing to know what's going on inside content creation is gonna be here in this space. So if you have VAs that are helping you with your social media or you have someone who's editing a podcast or a YouTube video for you, this is where they're going to be because the purpose of this space is anything content related is gonna be here. The next space we have is lead to client. So this is going to handle your marketing, it's gonna ha handle your sales, and also part of that client experience. 
All of it is in one space because it touches each one of those pieces. When you have a client that's coming through or you have a lead that's coming through, they're going to interact with your marketing, then they're going to interact with your sales process, and then they're going to interact with your client experience. And so we need to have a very cohesive client journey through all three of those pieces. This is why we wanna have it all in one space because this is the whole purpose. If we think about what's the function of this space is to take a lead to become a client. So all of that is going to be here in this one space. This is going to help protect your business from creating all of these silos where you have departments who are working individually all by themselves and there's not any cross communication. When you have it all in one space, it's going to help to create some of that communication. And there's so many different ways inside ClickUp that you can communicate, especially I love the chat feature that they just came out with a few months ago. Being able to chat just like if you're using Slack, you can have it inside ClickUp. I love it because then you don't have to have two different softwares open. So you don't need an Asana and a, a Slack. You can have everything all inside ClickUp and that way it's actually gonna save you money too as you start to grow and scale. So all of that is in our lead to client space. Our next space that we have is products and services. This is where we are gonna keep track of any products, any services that we have to offer. So it doesn't matter if you have just a course that you're offering, maybe there's things that that course needs to have happen. Even if it's building out that course, it's gonna go here because this is where you are really taking care of your fulfillment. If you have clients that you're working on, this is where you would put your clients. You'd create a folder for each one of those clients and you would put them there under that products and services. So anyone that has to deal with anything as far as fulfillment goes is all going to be here. It's been handed off to from your marketing and your sales and your client experience. It's going to be handed off over here into our products where they start getting access to those products, access to the services that you have to offer. That's where you can keep track of everything. Last, we have customer service. Now this is a new space that I've recently added. I, have built those $3 million businesses without our customer service, because really that was in our lead to client and customer service was really a part of all three of those part of marketing. It's a part of sales. It is part of client experience. But recently with the new AI that ClickUp has come up with, we wanted to create a space just for customer service. And next week I'm going to be dropping a video to walk you through exactly how we are setting up our customer service space where you can use AI to automate a lot of your tickets. If you have like help desk tickets or anything that's coming into a support inbox, we're going to show you how you can automate that using AI. So if you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that video next week. Now there's a lot more that we can go into. We can talk about the different hierarchies of the folders and lists and how do you decide which goes into a folder or what goes into a list? How do you actually build this out? This is just the beginning framework of our million dollar system that we use inside ClickUp. So if you want me to do more videos about that, just let me know in the comments that you want to have more videos on how to actually set the rest of this up. But if you're looking for just an overall, how do I first get started and start structuring out my ClickUp? This is the way to set it up. This is going to really help you when you are ready to scale. And it helps you to start just thinking through where do tasks go? How do I start organizing all the things that I need to do inside my business when you have these different containers to start putting them in? Let me know if you have any questions about this in the comments below and keep thinking strategically.